Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel all about hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Today I'm here at this beautiful lake in the Sierra Mountain Range of California. I thought I would talk about what I load out in my day pack. I have spent the last year or so trying to become more efficient with my hiking and backpacking, and one of the ways I've done that is I've started storing my go-to day pack gear in my day pack and my go-to backpacking gear in my backpack, and that just makes things so much simpler. I have fewer decisions to make when I decide I want to go out. So today I'm just going to go through what my typical loadout is in my day pack. I'll show you what's in here, what I leave in here, and also what I do about the things that I don't always bring. So first of all, let's talk about the pack itself. This is the Waymark Mile. I've been using this pack pretty much exclusively for day hiking for over a year now. I just love this thing. Uh, when I got this pack, I actually had two other day packs, both of which I paid full price for, and I just find myself going to this one every time. I've done a full review of the mile pack, which I will link to in the description below and give you at the end of this video, but this has definitely become my go-to day pack. Now, one of the only things that is not a regular on my day hikes is my hydration system. I go back and forth between liking to have a bladder versus a bottle that I would keep up here in the front, or a bottle that I keep on the side and attach a hydration hose to. I use the one bottle hydration system, and that way I can use whatever I want and still have hose access. Today, I decided to use this as a hydration system but if I don't, I have two side pockets where I can put a tall bottle cinched here with the side compression straps, and I can either grab that from the back without the compression strap, or I can leave it attached with a hydration hose that I will put through one of the straps. Now, usually, I just do a bottle. And as you can see, I have the Waymark bottle holder. That's not the only thing I use this for, though. This is good as a phone sleeve. You can keep snacks in here, even if you have a bottle. So I've got a lot of stuff here. I'm a big fan of shoulder strap carry. If there's something I can put on the front of me, I like it to go there. So to continue, this is my Zolio satellite device. With this, I can send updates of my location as well as use my phone to send texts even when I'm out of range. This goes right on the front where I can grab it if I fall and I get hurt. If I'm immobilized, I should still be able to get to that. So that hangs right on the front. Underneath that is my camp knife. This is the SE Azula 2. What I do here is I hang this off my front strap and then my sternum strap goes over the top into the clip and that keeps it right up against my chest. Got a little backcountry pilgrim swag here. On my big front pocket, this is typically where I would keep a jacket if I thought it was going to be uh, any potential for rain, but it is California now, it is August, it's not gonna rain. So my jacket is actually the very bottom of the pack. So normally in here, I will also carry a pack cover. This is the one that fits the mile. I like this because it is waterproof. I can waterproof the pack if I need to, but it also forms a simple stuff sack <laughs> if I need to carry something out. Maybe I find someone's garbage or my own garbage. I find something I want to bring that I don't want to mess up the inside of the pack. This is really handy for that. It could even be something of an emergency shelter for my head. Um, so I always keep the pack cover for the pack somewhere I can get to it. During the sun, I also keep my Sunrunner cap cape inside here so that I can throw this on if it starts to get real sunny and I think that my sunscreen is going to be overcome. This cape goes on here. You've probably seen me wearing it in other videos, but today I didn't really want to put it on. So I'm just going to stuff this back in here. And again, for now, I'm putting the bladder in the front pocket as well. Now in the side pocket, I would normally carry my tripod and camera, which is what is making this video right now, but that's going to go right here where I can grab it quick in the pockets of the shorts or pants that I'm wearing. I always keep three things. Keys, wallet, phone. These stay in my pockets at all times in case I lose the pack somehow. If I've got to drop my pack for some reason and it gets lost or a bear attacks it, I want to be able to get back to my car and still have my communication money. Now, this is my ultralight weather resistant wallet. It is snapped onto my keys with a magnet. Okay, one of the things I love about the Mile is this top pocket. It's an external pocket with a weather-resistant zipper, and inside are two 
small organizational pockets. This is the backcountry exposure medical kit. It's water resistant. In here, I have uh, ibuprofen, band-aids, leukotape, you know, kind of the standard stuff. I also usually keep water purification tablets in case I misjudge my water needs. And just basically anything that's kind of emergency related, I keep in this bright red pouch. In here, I also keep my Hilltop Packs battery bag. This is one of the coolest pieces of gear I own. Okay, going inside the bag. This is a roll top pack, nice and simple. Inside here, I have some food. Now, food is typically something that I add to my pack on any given hike, but I like to keep at least something in there in case I'm just in a huge hurry or I don't think about it. I like to have some food in this pack at all times. During the summer, I trade my buffs for a schmog. I've got a whole video on this too, but basically this is something that works excellent as a sunscreen, as a bug screen. You can soak it in the water and cool off. It makes like basically an air conditioner if you hang it over the top of your hat. Uh, these things are worth their weight in gold. Next I have my ditty bag. Now this is a very important component of this particular setup. This is my Hilltop Packs fanny pack, but you'll notice that I've removed the strap. The reason I did that is because I don't really like actually having it in front of me, but if I decide I do want it there, maybe I'm filming and I'm keeping a lot of important camera stuff in here, or I know that I'm doing a long distance and I want all my snacks right up front, I can reattach this to the mile pack using the straps down here, and now I've got a hip belt with a fanny pack attached and no extra weight. In the ditty bag, I keep sunscreen, bug juice, my prescription glasses that are not sunglasses, headlamp, one of the 10 essentials, bug net. For me, this is the 11th essential. I just don't go outdoors without a bug net if I can help it. Fire, one of the 10 essentials as well. Compass, you guessed it, one of the 10 essentials. You're probably seeing a theme here. I like to keep as many of the 10 essentials as possible in the ditty bag all the time so that I don't have to worry about forgetting them. Extra batteries for the headlamp. This is my hydration. This is Element. Um, this is a salty powder that you can put in your water. It makes it taste very good, and it's also a lot better for restoring the minerals and things that you lose when you sweat than just water. And that is it for the ditty bag. This is my poop kit. Now, this is a lot more fancy and advanced than I would normally carry. I will probably minimalize this once I get done with the review. But one thing I do want to point out is that even though I would have a separate trowel and hand sanitizer, the pellets that are in here are invaluable. We have these pellets made of wood. These have an enzyme in them that helps poop degrade faster. You drop three of these in your cat hole when you're done with doing your business, and it is much better for the environment as are these dehydrated wet wipes. There's no chemicals in these, and if you're not packing them out like you should, if you put them in the hole with those enzymes, it actually helps things break down faster. This is an amazing system. I'm doing an entire review on it. Check it out. Again, link will be in the description. I always bring a spare pair of socks just in case I have to go through mud or something and I want to be able to switch the socks out. I just like having an extra pair. Uh, these can also be emergency gloves or things, so I usually throw an extra pair in. I have my Frog Togs Ultra Lightweight Rain Jacket. This is a super lightweight shell. It can double as a pack cover if I need it to. I can kind of huddle under it in a bad storm. It weighs very little. It also is not super durable, but this is what I keep with me in the summer months when it's hot enough and the weather is almost certainly not going to rain. But because it's one of the 10 essentials, I always bring it. If it was winter, I would have something a little bit more robust and I would probably be carrying it on the outside of the pack so that I can get it quickly if rain comes in. Day like today, I'm almost certain I'm not going to use it, so it goes all the way at the bottom. Okay, next, I have some pant sleeves. Now, this is something that I have been using recently. What I am wearing right now are the REI convertible pants. So these are shorts, but the shorts have a zipper around the bottom of the hem, and you can zip on pant legs. 
What I love about the REI shorts is that these have a side zip as well, which means that I can take these off and put these on without having to remove shoes or boots, like I had to do with my Columbia Silver Ridge pants. I liked those very much, but I hated having to take boots or shoes on and off in order to get the pant sleeves on or off. These, because they have dual zippers, allow me to just take them off without modifying my shoe wear, and I can even unzip them to serve as a sort of pit zip vent for my legs. So again, out here, I'm probably not going to need these because of the temperature. It's hot enough that I'm probably not going to want pants on. However, I have had to go through some brush today that I maybe don't want to expose my skin to. There's poison oak out here. It could be buggy. There's lots of good reasons to have these, and I love modular systems. So throwing these in the pack lets me have the option to have long or short pants on with basically no weight penalty. And that basically does it for my day pack. All right, I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, would you mind giving it a like and subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim if you're into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Until next time, as always, thank you for watching.